Hello my friends and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Now before we get started today, I wanted to let you know that I am trying, trying being the key word there, to take a couple of weeks off at the end of September, beginning of October time frame. Now because of this, I am needing to pre-record out much farther than normal. And I know this affects you in absolutely zero ways, but I, I felt the need to share because sharing is caring, obviously. <laughs> but anyway, in our last video, we did arrive in Ilium, and at the end of the video, we we confronted or we were confronted by Conrad Werner, who was very upset with us, and I'm still not sure why. I don't remember sticking a gun in his face, but to be honest, I haven't taken the time to go back and look at my last video with him because I, I just haven't taken the time to do that, but I feel like that's not accurate. I thought I strongly convinced him that he would not make a very good specter and to go on about his life, but apparently I failed in that situation. But anyway, so in today's video, I want to... Slave broker? What? We need to talk to that person. Anyway, in today's video, we're going to spend the day wandering around Ilium. And if I finish, we'll we'll go talk to Liara. But, but let's just talk to this bartender first and see how things go. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. <laughs> Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. <laughs> anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athena, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Get you anything? You're a matriarch? Really? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Oh, wow. Who was your mom? Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. <laughs> she scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. Um... You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. <laughs> I bet it was. <laughs> your dad? You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars? Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. <laughs> When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen into muck. Scientists say all that stuff about his getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. Okay. Um, how old do Krogan live? I feel like I missed that somewhere. I know, sorry, it's like a thousand years, which is so long. But, like... It, it, anyway, it doesn't matter right now. Parents and wars. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. Oh, and, yeah, and then? What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Oh. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. Uh, uh, so your parents call you and say, okay, we're gonna try to kill each other, and you have to love whichever one killed your other parent. I, I, I'm... Okay, that's awful. Working in a bar? Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Yeah. All that Asari wisdom got the Destiny Ascension blown to hell, and now you humans are in charge. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. <laughs> um... She clearly doesn't know that I'm... Well, she should know that I'm Shepard because Conrad Werner, like, blurted it out to everybody. So, anyway, what was coming? What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't going to cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now... I serve drinks. 
Okay. Um, uh, all right. <laughs> a long lifespan. What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pureblood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up. Your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. <laughs> That's... I like Thanks her. for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? Yeah, uh, a drink. I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. He... he... he drank a Turian? What? What's it like being in a sorry major? Pretty much like being anything else. Like Thanks parents. for telling me about that. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Okay. Where's, where's the, where's the, oh, here's the drink kiosk. Buy a drink. Mystery drink. Whatever this is, it's rumored to come from the deepest reaches of the Traverse, distilled on a shadowy, nameless planet by specifically, uh, specifically ad adipted Vorsha. Uh, I, 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 hang on. That's safe. <laughs> In case I kill myself by drinking. <laughs> Bye. Yes. <laughs> Hold on to your livers. Wait, is this an actual quest? Or no? Can I have another one? Let's have another one. Yes. Hold on to your livers. Can I, is it a thing where I can get drunk? I, do, I feel like that's not gonna happen. No, nothing happened. In fact, I'm completely normal again. Okay, let's go talk to this slave broker. We'll figure something out. Stop worrying. Stop worrying. This is my life you're talking about. You signed the indentured service contract. You gave over your responsibility to me. So don't worry. Did she have a choice? Because if she didn't have a choice, she has every right to worry. It's okay. I'll think of something. You said synthetic insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assume they would want an AI tech. Hello. Can I help you with something? Uh, let's ask what's going on here first. Have you made this quarry in your slave? We prefer the term indentured servants. Before you do anything hasty, know that this Quarian signed the agreement voluntarily and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the Quarian, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. What if I bought her? What if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. Quarian slave? Why did this Quarian sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. You get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. Yeah, I don't buy it. Sounds great. Unless you lose her paperwork or come up with a reason to hold her longer. All contracts are monitored by Ilium Law Enforcement. In a case such as you described, the burden of proof would be on me. No system is perfect, but safeguards are set up to protect all parties. I don't like it. 
I, I still don't like it at all. It makes me sick to my stomach. Problem with Corian? If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the Corian? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. So hold on to her. Why not just keep her? You said she had technical skills. Quarian's strict health requirements and diets make them expensive to house and feed. I run at a minor profit at best. I don't have the money for constant suit repairs and clean room facilities. So what happens if Synthetic Insights won't take me? A solution always presents itself. I will take care of you. Legal slavery? So slavery is legal on Ilium. Indentured servitude <laughs> lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met. Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. Um, I mean, I don't want to help make her a slave, but maybe I can help free her. I can try, right? I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Oh, I really don't like this already. Okay, Ilium Indentured Service. A Corian who has sold herself into indentured servitude has requested help getting Synthetic Insights to purchase her service contract. Talk to the Synthetic Insights representative about purchasing the Corian's service contract. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't like it. I mean, like, it doesn't sound like they're completely horrible, but slave broker. You again. I'd hope to see a representative from Synthetic Insights making an offer for the Quarian. Okay, I'll try to help. I'll talk to the really? Synthetic Insights. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I mean, no. somebody who respects you. <laughs> somebody who's going to treat you I right. forgot. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. All well, right, so where am I? Don't I am here, so, and I've done the trading floor. So I, Cerise Technologies, Liara's office. How do I get farther into here? That's what I want to know. Do I have to go through Liara's office to get it's there? It's always the same thing. Ooh, she could get sick. Their voices carry pretty far, huh? <laughs> I also thought that Blasto, the first NR Spectre, would play by the rules. This one has forgotten whether its heat sink is over capacity. It wonders whether the criminal scum considers itself fortunate. They were wrong. This one doesn't have time for your solid waste excretions. <laughs> He's got a lover in every port and a gun in every tentacle. And kindle this. Blasto the Jellyfish Stings, available for extranet purchase this fall from Elium Entertainment. <laughs> Anar Spectre, that is excellent. Do you have anything flashier? I want something that says, I own Yeah, this I guess room. I have to go in. Okay, well, let's I save. Or maybe I can go in this way. Here we go. Alien News would like to offer a clarification of our special report on notorious assassin Thane Krios. While Alien News did credit Thane Krios' legendary skill to his Drell heritage, no offense to the Drell community was intended. Alien News does not encourage or tolerate prejudice against any sapient species and apologizes for any unintentional misstatements implying otherwise. Um, hang on. Hang on. Thane Krios, that's the person I have to go... Okay, that's the person I have to go have join my team. Yay! <laughs> Listen, I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. Nasana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. Excuse me, I'm on an important call. But I want to overhear your important call. Come on, say something else. No? That's it? Uh, 
Anything else now? No, that's it. Where are we? Where are we? Shipping cargo. Where are the... Hang on. I'm very dis dis disorganized today. Dentured service. Synthetic insights. Where do I need to go to do that? SI rep. Were they out on... No, that's Cerise Technology. Oh, taxi stand. Hmm. Sir Ina. Oh, I can't wander out. <laughs> All right, let's say before we talk to, to Serena. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Okay. I can't help you. If you need something, talk to admin. Okay. Transportation. Bad luck on the stock market. Debt piling up. Perhaps you need to explore other options. Indenture Tech paid off my debt and helped me gain valuable job skills. Now, just five years later, I'm a free man again. Talk to Indenture Tech to see if indentured servitude is the right career option for you. Remember, the only shame is in doing nothing. I mean, it it sounds okay, but like, I don't believe them. And you're also like- Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know, some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. I lost my train of thought, but I just, they make it sound like, oh, it's totally fine. You're very protected. Like, but you can't guarantee it. Like, and you're, you're a slave. Even if you want to rename it by indentured servitude, you're still a slave. <laughs> okay, gateway personal defense, memories of Ilium. Let's go shopping some, maybe there's more fish. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. Good. I'm pretty good at bypassing firewalls. Maybe they're looking for techs. Oh, hey, hang on. Let's go back over here to these two and see if they've got anything else to say. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? Oh my gosh. That's horrible. Yeah. There's a 12-page contract for shipping, then a waiver for use. I charged for 50 hours, plus overtime. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well use them, right? Damn, that's a hell of a sniper rifle. Ooh. If you say so. Really? I, I do like me a good sniper rifle. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus systems. Everything's dangerous and everything's for sale. Either we tax and monitor it to keep some control or the smugglers get a monopoly. It's just, we're looking for weapons. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? <laughs> hey, I'm 60 years old and finally out of my parents' house. And Eclipse girls never lack for, um, company. You could get killed. What about you? I'm almost 20. My genetic stats are average and my clan has little political power. For a good reproduction contract, I'll need money. You're 20, you're, half your life is over. That's, oh, it's so depressing. And you're talking to somebody who's 60. No, that still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legally required. Who reads labels, though? <laughs> so consider it a way to weed out the people too stupid to know their limits. Uh, <laughs> These conversations. Eclipse might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. My clan's breeding strategy is at stake. Don't Solarians think about anything besides breeding? Don't even start with me. Considering they only have 40 years to go, uh, probably not. Sometimes you say these things and I don't know, maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. Wow, you're pulling that on me? My father was an excellent caretaker and you're, you're... The word you're looking for is pure blood. Oh, oh my. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Okay, we heard that one already. Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. 
good. Hey, we're friends. I have never called you that. No, but you're thinking about it. You think it was easy growing up pure blood? I did some stupid things to get away from the taunts. The stupid drug users you're laughing at, I might have been one of them. Oh no. Ooh, there's a police station. No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. I didn't mean... Okay, look, I'll take another look at the contract. Maybe it needs to be reclassified. Forget it. Do whatever you want. Oh, they're going to become not friends anymore. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems okay. are great for business. I don't know. Some Heard of all these side conversations. Let's talk to the weapons That's the merchant. Whole point. What about you? The store's over there. And don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. Oh, I don't get a discount? What? But I need I need discounts. Heavy skin weight. Shepard gets 20% health. 90,000 credits. Strong synthetic fibers can be woven through the skin. I feel like I have some of those. Submachine gun damage. Assault rifle damage. Amplifier plates. Using their expertise in policing dangerous situations with limited assets, Alanis Risk Control Services, ERCS, has created shoulder protection that includes an internal microcontrol system to maximize resources. <laughs> it's so expensive. Memories of Ilium Rouse? Oh, blue rose of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. Let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. For if our love is to survive, it must grow thorns to pierce the hand of any that would uproot it. There is a clicking noise in the background. I'm assuming it's just background noise. Oh, yes, but it's it hurts my ears. Blue rose of Ilium, you have blossomed in a tower of glass and plastic. But beauty under glass is untested and weak. Where are your honored dead? To fertilize the ground that you might grow strong. On the rocky plains of Tachanka, I will build you a garden from the bones of my ancestors. Why are you here spouting all of this instead of on Tachanka? What I want to know. Is that over there? Blue Rose of Ilium. Leave eternity unembraced and grapple in the glorious struggle that is us, here and now. I am speechless. Not with blood rage, but with love. And I stand here, humble and mute, to offer you a home. Come to me. Blue Rose of Ilium. Let our three hearts beat as two. Oh, oh, he's talking to the Asari. Oh, I'm so slow. <laughs> oh, Blue Rose of Ilium. Okay, let's talk Let to this Asari. What do you want? Sorry, sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. <laughs> he likes you, obviously. I mean, I say obviously, but it took me like three oh, tries to be like, oh, <laughs> do you, do you need help? Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. He's harmless, which I know, Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. <laughs> it's kind of adorable, though. What's your reasons for breaking up? So why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, you no offense. <laughs> it made me wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. You can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. Oh, did you talk to him about it? That sounds like a question you should ask him. 
I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been Asari. Non-Asari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA, we're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. Oh, see, that's so sweet. Don't... That's... Oh, reason for dating? I'm hoping it's because you liked him. It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. And I stand here. Uh, uh, okay, you should make a decision. You should make a decision. Don't lead the guy on. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. But, like, he seems... It's so cute. You should totally take him back. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Right? Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. See? I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. Oh. Oh, they just left together? Oh, that's so... That was so cute. I liked that. We need more of that in this game. More happy moments, please, game. But I get a discount. <gasps> well, I get some more fish. Fat blue fish are known for their odd locomotion and feeding habits. Obviously, we're buying this. Model Alliance Cruiser. Yes, please. And then Model Athabasca Class Freighter. Sure. <laughs> I'm hesitant on buying things that, you know, could be useful to me. <laughs> for, you know, battle and whatnot. But, like, give me a fish or something decorative and I'm all over it. Is there a quest? There was a quest. Blue Rose of Ilium. Hang on, what does it say? Nothing? Nothing. Persuade Asari. Convince the Asari to marry the Krogan or reject him completely. I mean, you don't have to have kids tomorrow. That was so sweet. I like that so much. That was so lovely. <laughs> I'm telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse Mercs, some just a car, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Please hold. Just a car. Just a car. Yes, the just a car. Just a car, Samara. Biotic strength near that of an Asari matriarch. Wow. I'm on a call. <laughs> I'm on a call. She's so. Like, can you please go away? I'm busy. Is this the taxi stand? It's so big and cool. I want I want an apartment here, please. All right, those two we don't need to listen to again. And then who is Shiala? Shepard. I, I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, oh. and you killed it, and saved me. I yes. promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. I, I totally remember who you are, who you were, who you are. There, we, there's the right words. Anyway, how is Zeus Hope? How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Are people in danger? Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorians somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus' hope. 
They actually seem to want to help us survive. And the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. So, can, can I help? What brings you here? I, I do have time for this, but yeah, how can I help? Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. Huh. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. Oh no. That's why I'm here. Why are you green? Why is she green? She should be blue, right? Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. Oh. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. I, I imagine it would be. Scanning contract. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true. Yeah. But we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. Is this a real threat? Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract. Which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. Health problems? What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Yeah, I, I yeah, totally. Let me, let me handle this for you. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontier's representative knows about the issue. Hmm. Come on, what's the next one? Oh, Paragon. Our alien medical scans. The colonists, once controlled by the Thorian, have been tricked into signing a nasty contract for intrusive medical scans. They need help renegotiating the terms of the contract. Find the Baria Frontiers rep and convince her to call up the intrusive scans. Okay, sure. I'll convince her, slash threaten her. Officer Jara? Nothing to declare? Move along. Hmm. Baria Frontiers Bros. Okay, let's talk to Irina. Or Erinya. Maybe that's how I say it. Doesn't matter. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. What's the point? Why are you so angry? Fine, goodbye. Yeah, why are you so angry? What's your problem with humans? <sighs> not just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Well, aren't you just a horrible person? I'll turn to procedures, humanity as saviors, contract legality, Asari projection, hatred for aliens. Well, start at alternative procedures. Perhaps we could work out different tests, something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. It, it, it is because they're human, right? So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. 
A sorry like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the Embassy, the other was a greeter for the Consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Tell me about your family. They didn't hate aliens. Um, let's try the rest of these first. So humanity as saviors? You seem to forget that a human saved you from Saren and the Geth. The Geth created by the idiotic Quarians? That a rogue Turian specter led in an attack? The Geth didn't start with the Citadel. They attacked your human colony, Eden Prime, first. You humans brought the Geth upon us. You and the Turians are the Quarians. My people's deaths are on your hands. It does sound personal. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the Embassy. The other was a greeter for the Consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. I feel like I, for some reason, I thought like the Quarians and the Geth, like that whole history was multiple, multiple thousands of years ago. But like, if it's her bond mate, it has to be within the last thousand years because they live to be roughly a thousand. So it was a whole lot, I mean, like a thousand years. It's a whole lot sooner. I mean, it's it's not, but like in human terms, but it is it's it is sooner than I, in my head, thought it was. But contract legality. You really think this is legal? Maybe Ilium's contract analyst should look it over. You ignorant yokel. I was negotiating contracts when your ancestors were still burning witches and enslaving each other. Ouch. I haven't lost a contract dispute in 70 years. Try me. It is because you're human. Um, let's see. Asari reproduction hatred for aliens. Let's do the reproduction one first. I thought Asari preferred to mate with other races for genetic diversity. A short-sighted mistake perpetrated by the same self-hating malcontents who spawned the hateful term pure blood. We hardly need your alien DNA to randomize genetic material. A little radiation would work just as well. You provide no diversity, no new insights, no advancement. You bring only chaos and senseless deaths. Ah. It is personal. Uh, let's try hatred for aliens now. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? <sighs> Where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. Yes, because the Asari are all saints, obviously. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on... My daughters died. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Okay, so I think we've run the full gamut on Investigate, so tell me about your family. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not, I, I didn't, oh. Was it really that easy? I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. It really was that easy. 
I mean, I'll take it, but like, I feel like it should have been harder than that. <laughs> I'm so convincing. <laughs> Inform Shiala. Tell Shiala that Baria Frontier's representative has been convinced. But well, let's go, let's save after all that and go shopping. Star chart Hades Nexus. Navigation charts for the Hades Nexus. Minos Wasteland, Pylos Nebula, and Shrike Abyssal. What is... Well, they're only 500 each, so... Let's just buy them and see what happens. Purchased star charts. Delivery to Normandy pending. Is this just more systems to go explore? Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinya, though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure blood. They're all like that. What are the star charts for? Oh gosh, did I do it out of order? <laughs> you know Irinya won't even talk to the non-Asari customers. It's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. I heard she lost her daughters when the Geth attacked the Citadel. Right. I'm sure she was a pleasure to deal with before that. Doesn't matter. She still lost her kids, even if she was, you know, a major bee. She's the last of a dying breed. Won't be many pure blood Asari left in a few generations. I feel kind of sad for her. Don't. I heard she married an Asari herself, had pure blood kids. She's part of the problem. Anything else to share with the class? Pure bloods are a waste of genetic potential. That's how we get throwbacks like the Ardat Yakshi. Hey, I don't like pure bloods either, but that's going a little far. Well, uh, well what about our kids? Did you not like them either just because they were pure blood? Like, that makes absolutely no sense. They should be prohibited from breeding. <gasps> what was your father again? Salarian. Oh. So, you probably never really got to know him, did you? Shut up. You got the damn star charts? Let's go. There's lots of, like, judginess going on in the Asari society. Did you get the star charts? Okay, we got the star charts. Yeah. All right. I have... You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus Hope again. I don't think I could have... Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? I, you know, I wish the same thing. It's not all bad. Focus on today only, only with death. We only solve things when we murder people. <laughs> no, it's not all bad. Let's try to be positive. You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. <laughs> okay. Hi. You didn't need to thank me with the if it, by coming on to me. You could have just said thanks. It's okay. Y'all awkward now. All right, so I'm trying to figure out where do I go and find Synthetics Insight representative. Well, the only place they can be is back over here on the trading floor, I suppose. But, hmm, let's try to make our way back over there and see if I can find them. For example, them. you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural Before scarring? Wrap up for today. That's horrible. There's a 12-page contract for shipping. Send a waiver for use. All users of Coros brand medical radiation systems are asked to discontinue overtime. treatment immediately. Please return your system to an authorized dealer for a refund or for credit toward the exciting new Coros brand radiation personal defense weapon. Customer safety is important, and Coros remains committed to providing the best radiation-based solutions on the market. Coros, a division of Elcos Combine. Radiation-based so so solutions. Okay. I feel like, I feel like that's not, those words shouldn't go together. <laughs> Listen, I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. Nasana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. Okay. I'm lucky I, I got out at exactly all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. 
If she lets us back in, has been implicated in a massive financial scandal with well, authorities investigating we'll a number of trading irregularities. Navacorp executives did not immediately respond to requests for clarification. A Navacorp press release blamed the charges on a smear campaign orchestrated by competitors. It's like my new elevator music, like the elevator banter I would get when I was back on the Citadel. Now it's just in corridors. Okay. Cerise technology. If this is the best you have, I'll mm. make do. But you're certain the neural stimulators are compatible with both my suit and Asari physiology? You should try it my way. Look at how the wind's blowing. I, mm. well, I, guess it's not I can't believe how lovely your scalp looks. Mine is so gangly and asymmetrical. You want to know a secret? I had it done a few years back. Galactic Beauty Solutions. You should really give them a call. You know, I'm gonna do it. My life is too long to deal with an asymmetrical scalp. Galactic Beauty Solutions. Serving Maiden, Matron, Matriarch, and you. The division of Elkos Combine. Okay, well, I could not find the rep, so I'm gonna just need to pause. Discipline. Teamwork. Confidence. When you join the Blue Suns Mercenary Group, you're getting a crash course in life. Join today and find out about our incentive program, signing bonuses, and retirement options. Blue Suns, we'll cut you a path to the future. Okay, I'm not gonna move because I'm gonna run into another room that's gonna give me another ad advert, which I, I, I adore, but I need to pause. <laughs> so we're gonna pause here. Tomorrow, I want to try to find this, I don't know, rep if I can and, and wrap up that quest and then go talk to Liara. And I don't know if there's time, maybe do one of these dossier quests. I, I'm not sure. But anyway, that's my extremely long plan, which likely won't get done. But <laughs> we'll do all that and then go from there like usual. But as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe. And I will see you again tomorrow with another new Mass Effect 2 video.